Hello guys, this is Stephanie from the Black History Buff channel. You are most welcome. I do hope you are having a wonderful time. Do not forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell as we take a journey down precious black memory. Imagine living centuries ago, not just as a woman in a man's world, but as a black woman trying to bring about change in a society that is actively against you. Apart from helping a family and thousands more escape slavery and curing dysentery, she also led a troop in combat without losing any limb. I am talking about the Moses of her time, Harriet Tubman. Here are a few facts you probably never knew about Harriet Tubman. First, her code name was Moses and she took her job seriously. I am sure some of you can relate considering how Moses was able to secure the release and freedom of the Israelites from the Egyptians that were oppressing them. It is known that Harriet and her escapees only moved at night and in swamps in order to avoid cops and bounty hunters. As of her time, there was about $12,000 bounty on her head and that is equivalent to over $300,000 US dollars today. Crazy, right? Let me just share with you guys now. During her lifetime, she ensured the freedom of about 3,000 slaves. 3,000 slaves. We need more women like her now. Don't you guys think so? Like an African-American woman during a time, a time where freedom was as expensive as gold, ensuring that she not only free herself, her family, but 3,000 slaves. Secondly, she suffered from narcolepsy. Did I get that right? For some of you who do not know what this means, this is characterized by overwhelming daytime drowsiness and sudden attacks of sleep. In fact, she had surgery done and she refused anesthesia. Instead, she opted to chew on a bullet just as soldiers did. Here is another interesting fact. She cured dysentery. Her knowledge of flora in Maryland helped her find the cure to dysentery. She was able to help the Union troops at the time. She not only found the cure to dysentery, she also found help in certain areas such as chickenpox, cholera, and yellow fever. She was a Union scout during the Civil War. And what's more, she was the first woman to lead a combat assault. Wow. She led 150 Union troops over the Cumberland River in South Carolina, 1863. And guess what? She lost no one. Using her knowledge of escaped slaves, she was able to lead these troops through torpedo traps. And in the process, bought the freedom of 750 slaves. Harriet led a remarkable life. Harriet lived a remarkable life for an American woman of her time. She lived to the full age of 91 at a charity on which she founded and she was buried with full military honors. That is an amazing story friends. I am inspired. So that is it for today, guys. You know how we do it. Let me know what you think of this video in the comment section. Which other badass woman would you like me to talk about? And do not forget, the Black History Buff podcast is an independent project. We are not supported by any organization. We rely on loyal listeners like you. This is when I tell you to join the family. Ensure that you become a member of the Black History Buff channel today. Do not forget to follow us on our social media handles like I say all the time. I would like to keep up with each and every one of you. Bye.